What is up everybody and welcome back to the next episode in the bus build series. In the last video we left off with freshly filled and sanded walls all the way around except for the bathroom. Excuse the bathroom, don't worry about that. But in the start of this video we are going to paint these walls and get this place looking super clean. I'm going to start in the back because the next place where I'm going to do work is in the back, so if I can't paint, paint the whole thing right now, then I will have the back done and I can keep working back here, paint the rest later. But I'd love to get everything painted, that way it just helps manage the dust, it helps keep things clean, you can just wipe it down really easily. Right now with it being plywood, it kind of attracts dust, it's harder to clean because you can't really use water or it'll kind of you know mess with the wood a little bit. So that's the idea. I have some leftover paint from when I painted the bottom parts of these walls and the battery box in the back. Uh, so we're going to start with that and start cutting in on the edges. I have everything taped and everything wiped down. So that's how it's going to start once I do some cutting in and some prepping of the tough to get areas and we'll do some rolling. Then it'll really start to clean up. And we did several hours of painting. We actually managed to do two coats of brushwork and from two feet away, it looks pretty good. From up close, you can still see a lot of wood grain. So we're gonna do a third coat tomorrow, but we're gonna use rollers so that we can get really even texture and a thick layer applied. Uh, hopefully that's gonna do a good job at covering up the wood grain. If we have to do a fourth in some of the more visible areas, we will do so. But here's how things are looking right now. Wanna show us the front? This is the front. Wow. The Want front. to show us the side? This is the right side from standing in the back and the left side from standing in the front. Wow, man. You want to show us the other down. side? Starboard side. Uh, no, port. Port side, ah! Good morning. I am back out here on day two of our interior paint. We got a lot done yesterday, but today is going to be the real kicker because hopefully by the end of my painting today, will have a really smooth, very bright white finish to all of our walls. So that's the goal. I have my roller and I have my proper bucket for rolling rather than brushing. So that's what we're gonna work on right now, putting on a big thick third coat with a roller so that it gets a nice finished texture. So let's get to it. just finished doing the third coat, the roll coat, on the majority of everything. There are some areas that I didn't do extra, extra, extra layers, like down here under the kitchen windows, because I'm gonna build a backsplash on top of that. So that's gonna be covered up. So one coat, just to protect the wood, is fine. Um, the bottoms of these doors, they're gonna be under the bed, behind the water tank, never visible, so I left them. I haven't done the inside edges of the window sills, just because that's so hard I don't want to do that right now so I'll save that for another day but the rest of it is all rolled it's looking real smooth texture wise it's nice it feels great it's all white Woo! it's looking nice so we're gonna move on to a very exciting step I'm going to build my bed frame after I put this bed frame in, I can't come through that back door anymore, which is sad because I actually love coming through that back door. I'm gonna have to turn the bus around and come through the front door to do all my building and entering the bus, but that's okay. Here's my plan for the bed. I'm gonna fit a full-size mattress, standard dimensions full-size mattress. So I need 75 inches long by 54 inches wide, so I'm gonna base my build off of that. I'm gonna start in the back with a cross-member support going right on top of the battery box all the way across. We're gonna keep it level and square to the bus. And then I'm gonna extend it out 54 inches forward to here. I'll give it an extra half inch, three quarter inch, maybe an inch just for wiggle room and additional pieces. So 55 inches, we'll say. 
right? And then we'll put a couple cross pieces for support and I don't have the plywood for the actual platform of it, but the frame we can build. It'll only take a couple hours max and that'll be doing it very precise and uh, accurately. So that's the plan. We're gonna hit that right now and see where we get. And now we have a bed. Well, not a bed, just a frame. Um, let me tell you about the design elements included here in the bed frame. So down the middle for support, but also I'm going to have two separate pieces of plywood be the foundation for the mattress. And they're gonna hinge along this center beam. That's why I did two two by threes there so that I had enough space to put enough hinges that that side can go whoop, whoop, open up. This side can go whoop, whoop, open up. Then I have these dividers, both for structural reasons, but also because I'm gonna build some boxes that are gonna go in here, just like that. So that when I open up this side on gas struts, there's gonna be this shallow box right here. And that's gonna be my camera gear. So I'm gonna need to make it deep enough to fit my camera as well as my other pieces of equipment that can hide, bam, in this box. This side will have a shallow box for like charging batteries and whatnot, you know, and I can make a little box for this side. I can make boxes for all six of these spots, which opens up a ton of storage. And I'm only limited by height here, as well as height of my fridge and my water tank which are gonna be under there. So I'm not planning on doing super deep boxes, but I will have some shallow storage underneath the bed so I can lift up this side, get to my stuff, put a little lock on it, keep my camera gear safe. That's the idea. So I am gonna keep working on the bed platform. I've put up two brackets in the back to support that back cabinet. Since the rest of my accents inside are gonna be matte black, I thought I'd use some extras from a project that we did inside the house, and I think they look nice. I may use them in some other places, like supporting the over kitchen cabinets or a shelf here or there. We'll see. But I think for now, those two in the back look pretty good. So right now on the bed, here's what I've realized in my head. The bus walls go up and then in. So if I'm planning on having something that opens whoosh, like this, I can't open the entire width of the bed because the walls slope in. So at some point, as soon as you start lifting, you'll get a couple inches and then that corner is gonna pinch on both sides and that's not what I want. So in order to be able to lift that bed, I need to skinny the part that is being lifted. Thus, I wanna support it at the very ends. So since, my, since the platform that is gonna go on here is not gonna extend the whole way out here, I do want some support underneath here where it will end. So I'm gonna take some of these, screw them on like that. That way I can have a bed platform that goes to here, you know, give it an inch and a half, goes to here and is still supported by some two by fours that are stuck in there. Now that I got those ends supported and doubled up, I'm gonna cut a couple strips inch and a half wide, just wide enough, and 55 and a half inches long to run along the ends. Then we'll have our set and final dimensions for the interior pieces, as well as our hinge point in the middle, and we'll see if we can get that working and built today. I have a whole bunch of these hinges, just 90 degree, actually like 300 degree hinges. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, and I'm gonna anchor them to this center bar. All right, so I gotta get my measurement from that end to most of the way through this center bar so that I can put some hinges on that piece and have it lift up. I really don't need it to lift more than like 45 degrees. However, I do need enough space in this gap to allow for each side to lift up and not have its own plywood bump into the opposite side, if that makes sense. We'll see when we get there how that could be a problem. So 
gonna do some measurements, then I'm gonna do some cuts and see what kind of size piece that we get to fit in here. Hopefully we nail it spot on and we don't have to waste wood. That's the idea. So little confession corner. I was kind of working so fast that I forgot to film. But uh, check it out. Woo! Uh, I'm gonna pop the rest of the screws in there. Right now each of those hinges only has one screw into the main beam, but once they all have their third screw in, it's gonna be rock solid and that was a quick work of a big piece of business. And that is it for this video. Thank you, thank you very much for watching and staying tuned for these build videos. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.